All right, this is a demonstration of a branch site uh, FortiGate deployment into an ADVPN mesh that has 15 overlays. Uh, there are 15 overlays because the branch itself has three internets. Hub one has three and hub two has two internets. So three times three is nine, three times two is six, nine plus six is 15 total overlays. All right, let's get started. This is a brand new FortiGate with just a management interface. So it's wanting to go through all of its beginning configurations through the wizard. All right, and I'll quickly show you um, configurations on this FortiGate are basically nothing. It just has a single interface for management. Uh, SD-WAN is completely blank. There are no rules. There are no zones. Static routes are blank other than my route to my management network. And policies are also blank. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this thing adopted to the Forta Manager. All right, let's go back to the Forta Manager. Here's our unauthorized device. Let's go ahead and authorize it. It's running 7.2, so we're going to stick it into our 7.2 VDOM. I'm sorry, 7.2 ADOM. Oh, that's going into the ADOM. Let's switch over to our 7.2 ADOM. Here's the device. We're going to go ahead and take the device and stick it into our branch group. Our branch group is the group that has all of our policies and provisioning templates applied. While that's getting over there, let's run our bootstrap script, which is just going to set a couple of variables on the device that we want to have there before we run our scripts. Now that we're there, let's go ahead and set our meta variables on this device. All right, so prefix one, right? 122, 122, 122.0 slash 24. That's the prefix we'll be advertising with BGP. The site ID for this one, let's call it site 99. And for the site name, let's just call it jumbly dupe. All right, WAN one gateway is 22.1.0.2. WAN one interface is port one. WAN one IP is 22.1.0.1 slash 24. WAN two gateway is 22.2.0.2. Uh, we're going to use port number two for WAN2. And the IP address for the site is 22.1.0.1 slash 24. WAN number three gateway, 22.3.0.2. Port number five is our WAN three port and 22.3.0.1 24. That all looks good. Let's go ahead and install and deploy this. We're going to use the policy package branch. Next, next. It's probably going to Complained about some interface mappings. It does. OK, what interface is LAN? Well, LAN is going to be port number three. What interface is ADVPN? ADVPN is ADVPN. Let's validate that. That looks good. All right, let's go look at an install preview to see what the Forta Manager is trying to deploy to our FortiGate here. Let's look at the code, and we've got about 1,500 lines of code. Let's go ahead and do an install. And right here, I have a machine that's sitting on the inside of this. Um, it's sitting on the inside of this FortiGate and pinging one of the hubs. So once the deployment is complete, we should be able to see that. Obviously, it's pushing out IPsec templates, BGP templates route templates um, and policies. Here we go, VPN tunnels up and running. That was, uh, geez, that was about two minutes. Let's go take a look at our configurations. Let's go to the VPN manager and the VPN map. Let's look at our traffic view. And sure enough, it looks like we have all 15 tunnels up and running working in bi-directional. Let's go take a look at the FortiGate itself. We go to network and interfaces. We see we have a loopback set. Our, our FortiLink is deleted. We've got WAN 1, WAN 2, WAN 3 all set up. Let's look at our SD-WAN configuration. We have a virtual WAN link. We have all 15 overlays in our ADVPN. Our SD-WAN rule shows our uh, rule toward hub 1, toward hub 2, and our catch-all. Our performance SLAs have health checks going to hub 1 and hub 2. Looking at our static routes, we have a, a default route to our virtual WAN link, and we've got our three black hole routes which will trap any traffic going to a VPN peer um, if the tunnel's not up. And then looking at our policies and objects, and we have our 
policy that goes from A to VPN to the LAN and LAN to A to VPN. And lastly, if we look at our IPsec tunnels, we show all 15 up, running, and healthy. There you go. A to VPN branch site deployment in about two minutes.